this is a marathon. You know, right now, we're at about mile 20, where the, you know, usually at the, late in the marathon, there's a hill, and you gotta go up that hill when you're exhausted, and that's really where you're at at late January, beginning of February. That's the time that you put yourself in a position to win a championship. And here we are with only seven games, eight games left. It's not about style, it's not about how well you play, or it's, it's about being one point ahead when the game's over. This is really the grind, and this is where all like all the teams, like we're just not the only ones banged up. Everyone else in the Horizon League's banged up, and then this is why this is the most important to us to be uh, healthy and ready for the next game. In the grind of a season, every team that you play has a game plan against you. You have to figure out what that game plan is, and then you have to attack it. I understand Xavier's going to get 25 some nights, and some nights he's going to get 15. The nights he gets 15, Norris better make a few threes. Uh, Kamari better step up and score if you're going to win. You just got to get up mentally and fight through it, and that's the biggest part about it. And if you're a real true baller, you reflect on every game constantly. What could I have done different? What did I do good? What? How could I have helped my teammate do something different? Or how could I help my teammate do something good? You don't want to go on a two-game losing streak, uh, losing to Green Bay, a team that we lost to twice last year. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Blacktop. We're in the arena on the campus of Oakland University, where today Horizon League play rolls on. The Green Bay Phoenix in town to square off against the Golden Grizzlies. James back in the paint with the drop step. He muscles one up and in. Back up and in. Trevion Bell. Xavier Hill Mays. Back was open. Yeah. Hey, compete. 20 minutes to compete. Come on, let's go. Here 20 minutes to walk in here with a win, right? Let's go. 20 let's minutes. Go. Let's 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 go. let us go Kamari Newman scores it off the window, and Greg Campy will call a timeout. What do you think they're going to do? They're desperate. They're desperate. Yeah, they're desperate. They're going to fly to the glass. Kamari Newman looking for more. Drives it to the rim. He's fouled on the way out by Sandy Cohen. Kamari Newman will go to the stripe. David Cumberland will dribble out the final four seconds. The buzzer sounds in the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Bounce back with a 90 to 78 win against the Green Bay Phoenix here on the blacktop. Green Bay, you know, they're a physical t athletic team. They put a lot of pressure on the ball and they play hard. X had a little knee injury and they were tough on the ball, but you know, we came through as a team, knocked down big shots, made big plays and got stops. I've seen that guys were guys kind of banged up, you know, from last game. Uh, and I just wanted to come out and I wanted to step up and help the team. You know, I wanted to produce off the bench and I was just ready for that moment. We built a, a second half lead that was most important. And it's been times this year where we've uh, let teams back in the game, especially in the second half. I mean, it just shows what we're capable of doing. If X's knee hurts, we have other guys that can step up. If they're pressuring Braden, I mean, again, we have other guys that can step up. And then uh, for us to come out in the second half and just prove to ourselves what we're capable of doing, that's just huge. Because if we ever get in that situation again, we can just look back and be like, guys, look, we can do this. Like, we just got to keep pushing and overcome this. Where Kamari Newman uh, made big shots, X made big shots, got big rebounds, and uh, we won the game going away by double digits. So uh, it was of paramount importance, and I think it kind of uh, catapulted us uh, into a, a being, having a week off, and that week off preparing for Detroit. If you think a little snow is going to stop us, slow us down, 
or act as any sort of barrier. We're here to tell you, it doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. The Dodge all-wheel drive lineup. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Muscle. Well-qualified returning employee lessees get a low-mileage lease on the 2019 Dodge Durango GT for $335 a month. At Ascension, our care teams listen to you as a woman and an expecting mom. Whether it's your first child or your next, our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists take the time to understand the care you need, including special care. Then we create an experience that's right for you and her or him, or both. Visit ascensionmibaby.com. As an Oakland University Credit Union member, you can have access to your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today. One possession, see what happens. Hey, you got to know where McDonald is, you got to know where Sharp is. The point guard's the most important position you have on your team, and we've got one now that looks like he's going to be here for a long time, that can handle the grind, that can handle the battle. Kudos to, to Braden Norris for coming in um, and being thrust upon the role of, of being the leader. And make no question about it, he is the straw that stirs the drink as it pertains to our offense. You know, unfortunately and fortunately for him, it kind of happened, it happened overnight almost. Like, here you go, this is your team now. You've got no one behind you. And he's got a lot of expectations real quick. The other freshmen, they were able to ease into their roles and uh, kind of get a feel for it where he was just handed the keys and you know it's yours and he's getting yelled at more than the others because he's got the expectations and, and we need him we're not the same team without him. You can't understate in Braden Norris's success his pedigree. His father is not just a high school basketball coach his father is an outstanding high school basketball coach with a Hall of Fame type record through, through the years of coaching in Ohio and Braden has grown up in a basketball family. He's been coached since he could dribble a basketball, and I can't tell you the importance of that. I've started since I was four. You know, my dad was a coach, so I was in the gym as soon as, as I was a little kid, and it's always been in my life, and my whole family plays basketball, all three of my brothers, so it's, it's a lot of fun when you go home and, you know, you're going to see your younger brother play, then, uh, your other brothers play in high school, so it's a lot of fun following my younger brothers, and it's a lot of fun being in a basketball family. He's a coach's son, so I'm a coach's son, so it's it's tough. You know, you you when you're a coach's son, you play the game, and then you got to go home and talk the game and feel it all over again, good, bad, or ugly. His dad's a tough nut. You know, his dad's a little bit like me and how he handles, you know, the bench and how he handles games. And so Braden grew up in that and was prepared for what he's going to get from me, was prepared for teams coming after him and being able to handle the ups and downs of a, a basketball season. Mentally, he makes no excuses for himself. It was a surprise to all of us how well he was shooting the ball. It wasn't a surprise to me on how he was able to maintain and run our ship. He's our floor general, so uh, so he's very important to us. He plays excellent defense on people. He takes care of the ball and stuff like that, so he's very important to us. You know, there is a lot of pressure that comes with that, but you know, great players perform under pressure, and that's what I have to do, and I have to do that to help my team win. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome inside Callahan Hall. And school down the road, Detroit Mercy and the Golden Grizzlies ready to mix it up. Rebound the basketball, play every possession as if it's going to cost us the game. All right? Every possession as if it's the game. It's all on the line here today. The bragging rights, all that stuff that's fun. You need to get a win if you want to keep pace in the Horizon League standing. Recting, offensive rebound, put back up and in. We're tied at two. Alley-oop thrown down by Harrison Curry. 
finds a slashing Harrison Curry. James back, picks it up and scores it off the window. Xavier kick out Newman for three. Of course, makes the catch and turns and throws it down with some thunder. First four possessions in the second half. Let's get stops, let's make a couple baskets, and let's get this to double figures and spread it out. Xavier Hill Mays in the paint. Turns and hook. Norris alone for three. Of course. Norris back to Xavier. In the paint, jump hook, pure. Pull up, three, rags it. Xavier Hill Mays has it in the paint. He's hammered and scores it and one. Antoine Davis has it. Shake it, bacon, crazy, step back, crazy. It's a one possession game, folks. Gotta be one point ahead. Isiani a three again, that spins out. Trey Maddox Jr. with the board. And Trey Maddox Jr. driving down the floor, and he's fouled by Isiani. 79 73. Golden Grizzlies win it. Detroit's right up the street, so we knew that for, you know, stuff that maybe won't affect the players initially, like recruiting of players down the line and bragging rights for fans, you know, we knew we had to come out and just get that uh, win for those guys, you know, for our fans, you know, for ourselves, for the coaches, for the program. So that was definitely a good one as well. <laughs> I mean, it was Detroit. Detroit's our biggest rivalry. Well, rivalry. When we played Detroit Mercy, it was a whole different energy set with him. He stated how when it's Detroit Mercy week, he has to almost take med medication, which cracks us all up. So he had a sense of humor to the whole week. That's a very serious rivalry. Uh, Coach Campy let the freshmen know about that right after the Green Bay game in the locker room. Uh, that was a very fun game, great atmosphere, uh, very competitive game. And that's definitely a game I'm looking forward to the rest of my career. <laughs> When my hair gets too long, I lose my edge. But when my cut's right, I'm right. I'm back to being me. My dimples activate. My cleft chin becomes cleftier. I get a twinkle on my tooth, and I speak fluent French. Garbage, chaise lounge, mayonnaise. Au revoir. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great clips, it's gonna be great. Compassionate Personalized Care has a new name. St. John Providence is now known as Ascension. Though the signs on our buildings are changing, Ascension caregivers have been here all along. Only now your doctors, clinics, and hospitals are connected to experts and specialists across the state and the country. So you are able to find the care you need, when and where you need it. That's more than 100 years of history rolled into one exciting new beginning. We are Ascension. in-house training, full-time administrative staff, professional photography, all this at no cost to the agent. Real Team Real Estate, the official real estate provider for the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Family on three, one, two, three, family! family. Sarah is the director of basketball operations, and she's in charge of all the things that go on that aren't on the court. It's details, it's communication, it's keeping everyone organized and making sure the guys are where they need to be outside of practice, um, academic side of it, books and housing and are you eating and all of it. She's been with me over a decade. Um, she has gotten herself a lot of power around here because everything that we do runs through her. Coach Campy and her have been together for a number of years. 
uh, he puts uh, a lot of trust in her. He gives her a lot of autonomy to do a lot of things on the periphery where the normal fan doesn't see. Uh, you know, she stays in contact with our players. Uh, she's a sounding board uh, in some instances with our players to, you know, to, to keep them well-rounded. We played at the same time, same four years. I watched her play. She was good. Gets it back, left block. A little fade away. Wow, what a oh, shot. Six points for Judd. She had the best turnaround jump shot on campus, period. She was a good post player. She could rebound. She was kind of like, she's kind of like Brayden Norris. Kind of like unassuming, not very athletic, didn't move very fast, didn't jump very high, but just got the job done. Uh-oh, Miss Judd. Being an alum, that's, that's mean, it's meaningful to me in that aspect, but you get to know these kids. Um, you know what they're going through. You've been through it. Um, and to watch them come through four or five years, you watch them change, you watch them grow up. Um, and it's like, it's the greatest thing when some, the littlest thing can happen. And it's like, God, he, he turned the corner. You know, and then you see him graduate and it goes by fast. And you know, it's family, it's all, it always turns into family. Um, and that's what it feels like. She knows the game, so she's very helpful with that. Uh, she's always there to help Campy out because I know he forgets a lot of stuff, so. Sarah was really cool, like, she used to play basketball here, so, I mean, she's seen all this stuff, and, like, you know, she travels with us, and, you know, like, she'll sometimes, you know, you could see, like, her watching the game, you could see her, like, get really into it. Sitting on the bench is confining for me. I can't, I need to be able to walk away. I gotta get mad. I have to stop my foot, and I don't want to do that in front of everyone, um, but it's good. I, I can walk away, I can be mad, I can react. Um, if I was on the bench, probably be a technical or two. As a player, I just I just try to stay on her good side because when you get on her bad side, she, she kind of gets, you know, you don't want to get on her bad side. <laughs> yeah, Sarah does have a bad side, but I always tease her about it, just say it's all for show. <laughs> she doesn't pull any punches. She says what she'll say. She doesn't you know, soothe over any egos. If she doesn't like something, she tells them. She's got a personality where she is a grinder. She's just somebody that works real hard and everything she does is for the good of the team and, and for the betterment of our, our program and our family. Sarah's kind of the puppet master behind the scenes and it's helpful for us to to have a good relationship with her because uh, basketball being kind of our, our largest sport, we have to make sure that she's getting what she needs to be successful. I mean, I look at my job as a tremendous opportunity to really showcase the arena uh, and, what it, and what we want it to be. It's really one of the few places on campus that really can kind of bring people from all different walks of life um, to really uh, come together in one place. Athletics is really at the core of a lot of what we do. Students often come to Oakland University because of our athletics program. Athletics gives a university its sense of spirit. It's a reason why students cheer. And it also gives us a sense of family. Well, we want to make sure that everybody's game day experience is full of energy and warmth. It's such a passionate environment when they're all out on the floor and the Grizz Gang's out there and the band's out there. And my kids have all grown up here. They have grown up in the rooms and on the arena floor um, ever since they were little. So just as a community member, I feel a great deal of family and excitement coming here for every game. It's our band, which is award-winning. It is our cheer team and our dance team. And the student section also is an award-winning student section. And it just is such an amazing opportunity to just get totally caught up in it. The president, she's been great. Um, it's awesome. She's at every game that she can come to. Um, she's up cheering, dancing. She loves the band. I know she's got a favorite song. She doesn't act like the president. She's a fan and she's into it. Um, she loves the guys. She, um, she had him over to the office about a month ago. She wanted a picture with them all. She's really embraced them. She's embraced the team. She's embraced the staff. Um, I think she's very supportive in what we do and, and she gets it. She seems to really get it.
With an Oakland University Credit Union account, you can access your money whenever and wherever you need it. Sign up today for a Visa debit card and carry the confidence of Visa everywhere you go. Take advantage of our mobile app and e-deposit. Plus, you can sign up for Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay using your OUCU Visa. With convenient branch locations and over 30,000 ATMs nationwide, accessing your money is easy. Visit OUCreditUnion.org for more information or to open an account today. Schedule online, anytime. Now you can easily schedule an appointment with Ascension Care Teams at St. John Providence and Ascension Crittenden. No matter where you are or what you're up to, if you're a new patient or if you've been here before, we have appointments available at locations near you. Find your appointment online anytime at GetAscensionCareSEMI.com. When my hair is too long, I don't feel right. But when I get a cut, I'm me again, only better. My tattoo gets feistier. My crazy eye snaps to attention. I become my own Wi-Fi hotspot. I just downloaded the entire internet. And trust falls? They don't even scare me anymore. That pomade really broke my fall. Get in, get out, back to greatness. Download the online check-in app. Great clips. It's going to be great. This part is is crucial. It is a long, long race. It is keeping up with your body, making, taking care. And we are at the part of the hill, you know? We are at the hill, we're running up and we're trying to, you know, catch some teams. We're trying to keep some teams at bay, definitely. You kind of have to dig in and you kind of have to, you know, do some self-reflection to understand like, hey, like this is it. I got to dial in. I got to push myself harder you know, to make sure we can get to where we want to be. I know we all want to be in the NCAA tournament. The last months, uh, it's the, the, the last grind, you know, you gotta, you gotta sustain and you gotta, you gotta be ready for it. I look at it as more setting the tone. We can't worry about the next week, we gotta worry about this week, get this job done. If we stay focused like how we are and then take on Cleveland State, we'll be just fine when we go on the road. We'll be nice, focused, and ready. These guys aren't slouches. They can come in here, and they're coming in here with a chip on. They haven't had the season that I'm pretty sure that they planned, so they're not gonna come in here and lay down. They're gonna come in here and compete. And so it's, it's so important for our guys to come, like I always say, every day and work. There's no skipping a beat, you know? It's inch by inch, and it's a marathon. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome inside the arena. We're on the blacktop for a little Horizon League basketball, the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Cleveland State Vikings. And away we go at the arena. Golden Grizzlies control the tap. Brad Brechting scores one. The very athletic move for Brad Brechting off the window. Brad Brechting off the catch. That one climbs over the front of the rim. Pull up three. Tough shot buried by Rashad Williams. They can't guard either one of you. We got to continue to go inside. Jump stop. Throws it up and in. Brad Brechting going to work. Turning. Half hook. Good. Brad Brechting is perfect. 10 for 10 from the floor. Give him 21. It's ours. If we want it, it's ours. We just got to win eight games. We can't win eight if we don't win this half. Let's go win. Norris ahead to Brecking. Brecking scores with a right hand. Amari Newman scores it off the window and one. Left side, Cumberland will drive it to the rim. Reverse layup is good. Cleveland State will let Kamari Newman dribble off the clock. And the Oakland Golden Grizzlies with a big 83-68 win over the Cleveland State Vikings. That's what you do to those teams, right? That's what you do. They, they made a little run, got it to three or four once, I think, and we got it right back to town and did what we had to do. We executed. We were learning how to handle the double. We made our free throws, and we had to make, pull up, make some big shots, and we did. 
That's what we need. All 10 guys played. All 10 guys gave me great effort. And that's what we're going to need. We're not, we're not going to win this thing without all 10 of us. We're not. In the middle of February, you want to be playing for the championship. You want to put yourself in a position to do that. We go on the road in February, and we play Northern Kentucky and Wright State, and then we go up to Wisconsin. And then you go see what you can do. With a team so young, and everybody back the following year, this is going to be great drama for us because, you know, win or lose, if we pull it off this year, if we don't, we're gonna have a lot of information to take into next year. We're gonna have a lot of stories to talk about. We're gonna have good or bad. We're gonna be able to build and grow, and that's part of a young team's growth. It's all about us now. It's February. February is when you win. Guess what? We've had some Februaries that we've won because we had them all at home. This February, we're going into the lion's mouth. I guarantee you, you go and win two next weekend, we'll win a championship. You go win two next weekend, and we will win a championship. Oakland basketball fans, it's time to wear the bear as the men's and women's teams head into the postseason. For more information, call 248-370-4000 or visit GoldenGrizzlies.com. At Ascension, our care teams listen to and get to know you and your child. Then we create a personalized pediatric experience that's right for you both. Our network of doctors, nurses, and specialists deliver the care you need, even when it's special care. Because families come to us for many needs, from many places, in many sizes. Visit ascension.org slash Michigan.